Hey everyone, we're talking about lists, and in this video we're going to look at what's called unpacking. And unpacking can help us uh, simplify or shorten our code. So actually I'm going to start fresh here. I'm going to reset my variable explorer and clear the console. And let's say we have a list that's describing a cat. Like, let's say that this cat is fat, and let's say this cat is gray, and this cat is loud, and this cat's name is Roxy. Alright, so there is my list, right? It's in my variable explorer under the name cat, type list, size 4, and it's got these four attributes, and I've stored all of these attributes, you know, items, inside that list cat. Now, what I could say is, like, like, like if I wanted to work with... Um, the, the attributes individually, right? I, I could say something like um, size equals, so like my variable is called size, and I could ask for cat of zero. And uh, so the index of zero is fat. So I'm gonna assign, I'm gonna assign the uh, zeroth index to size. And so we see now in my variable explorer that there's size is a string and it's, uh, it's containing fat. So now size is equal to fat, and I could say like something very similar, color equals cat of one, right? And so now you'll see in my variable explorer, color is a variable and it is gray. And similarly, I could say, uh, you know, like disposition equals cat two, right? And uh, now disposition is a variable and it's loud, and I could say name equals cat three, right? And so uh, the third index of cat is Roxy, and so now name uh, is equal to Roxy. And I could do that. And so now I have these variables size, color, disposition, name, and if this was part of a larger program, I can use those variables, um, you know, however I like. And, and that's fine, except you know we're, we're trying to shorten our code, we're trying to develop good programming habits. And so what I'm going to do here is, uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this actually in my comments, um, this is called unpacking. I'm going to do something um, uh, uh, that, that has the same effect, it just does it faster. And what I can do is say something like this, and I'm, gonna, I'm going to clear, uh, I'm going to reset the variables. Okay, yes, and clear the console. And then I'm going to define that cat um, uh, list again. So there's the cat list. And what I'm going to say is instead, I'm going to say size, comma, um, color, comma. So I'm comma delimiting these variables. And I'll say disposition, comma, name, equals cat. And uh, this is a really cool thing. This is the unpacking of the list. Uh, Python knows what you're trying to do here. It's smart. So you're, you're giving it four uh, variable names, all comma delimited, and then you're giving it, on the other side of the equal sign, you're giving it a list with four items. And so it, it's smart in that it knows that you're going to want to set size equal to fat, color equal to gray, disposition equal to loud, and name equal to Roxy. Let's do it. We'll hit enter. And so you see in that one, um, in that one uh, command, then I have uh, uh, done Everything that uh, the, you know, my previous my previous uh, demonstration did, and so that's nice. That's really nice. That's called unpacking, and um, I might want to say something like, um, or you know, let, let's let's try uh, let's try giving it another variable. Like maybe I'll ask for um, uh, gender. Okay, so now uh, you see it's not a one-to-one -one match anymore. Like size is fat, color is gray, disposition is loud, name is Roxy, gender. Well, there's nothing you know for male or female there. And so if in this case, if I try to execute that line, you'll see I get an error, and it's a value error. So that's the type of error, and it says not enough values to unpack. Expected five got four. All right, so you can play around with this. You can see what would happen, for example. Um, Maybe uh, 
I'll, I'll, I'll try another example. Let's reset everything and clear. Okay, and I'll define that cat list again. And let's say I, I try just three size, color, and disposition variables. Let's see what happens in that case. And you see now it says too many values to unpack, expected three, right? Um, and so, you know, there, there are four values to, uh, or there, there are three, um, you're asking for three, but there are actually four values to unpack. So there are too many values to unpack because you asked for three. So it doesn't know um, what you want to do here. It has to be one to one and you have to have, if, you ha if your list is four, then you have to have four variables on the left. So that's unpacking and that can help us uh, shorten our code and, and make it more efficient. Thank you.